Thank you, Yusuf. Well, I'm delighted to be part of this discussion. Um, I don't pretend to be um, an expert on food systems, but I um, have gotten very much involved with a lot of groups on campus at the university that are very much involved with food. Uh, some of you know that we've, we've established the campus farm at Mathai Botanic Gardens. We also help host an organization called Cultivating Community. Um, there's been interest really growing in two levels at the university, one from a faculty perspective and the other from a student perspective. Uh, from a student perspective, there's, there's a, an organization called the University of Michigan Sustainable Foods Program, uh, which is a consortium of about 10 different organizations, all related to food. And um, I've got a small video that talks about that in relationship to the campus farm. And then the other, the other small video that I want to share is more faculty related about a sustainable food systems initiative, uh, which, was, which was established, uh, st started really about two years ago when a group of faculty put together a proposal to administration to hire five new faculty in sustainable food uh, systems. And they include areas of public health, uh, School of Natural Resources, and Environment, Urban Planning, um, a college in evolutionary biology, and there's a fifth person yet to be hired. But it's really energized uh, thinking about courses on campus that, that are being taught, bringing them together. Uh, there's now been instituted a, uh, a uh, food systems minor in the program in the environment, and there's now also a graduate certificate in sustainable foods. So um, even though we're not an ag school here, we're really embracing that food is important across a variety of disciplines at U of M. So what I'd like to do now is to turn to the first of these videos and let the students really speak for themselves rather than me speak for them. We have artichokes here that are growing, zucchini, squash, we have pumpkins that are thriving and tomatoes that are about to turn and lots of different varieties of peppers. Classes have been looking at ways a farm might connect to other parts of the university to get students familiar with the farm and think about how it connects to their time here at Michigan. We have engineers come out, we have art and design students come out, and they come from all different backgrounds. There were several classes of students that helped develop plans for the farm. Um, students in landscape architecture, students in urban planning, students in a, in a food systems class. Our vision for the farm is that it would be a really interdisciplinary space. And we'd love to see a lot of student work happening out here, whether it's research projects or design projects. I thought it was a great opportunity to create a space that could be an educational opportunity for students. We were calling it a living learning laboratory. It's small enough that it can be still used as an educational tool. It adds like a certain depth that you wouldn't find in normal classes. I like that I can see how the food starts and then ends up in our hands. How many young people in college have the opportunity to grow their own food? This summer we've been lining up a lot of faculty who want to bring their classes out in the fall and weave into various curricular parts of the university. I have a lot of hopes and aspirations for this place. I want it to be just a resource and an area for students to, to restore in nature and to get their hands dirty, but also um, to use it educationally. It's more about um, building leaders in, in many different fields. Every time I come out here to volunteer has been wonderful. Each time there's something new to appreciate. I feel in touch with the food here and the people and I enjoy the, the community. It's not necessarily just about growing food, it's about growing community and, and relationships among different disciplines on campus. Okay, then the second, second of these videos is more about the Sustainable Food Systems Initiative, which is more of a faculty-driven um, academic program. And it'll explain a little bit about this uh, connecting into classes at U of M. There were four red apples. These are really exciting times at the University of Michigan. We have a sustainable food system initiative with the participation of many, many faculty and students, graduate students, undergraduate students. This is a really exciting time um, in the United States and on a world scale to think about food systems. 
university has made made a really big commitment to developing sustainable food as a discipline that the university is really interested in. I'm part of the uh, Sustainable Food Systems Cluster, hired in, in recently here at the University of Michigan. So the university has allocated resources and education and created this intellectual community around food systems at the University of Michigan. The student interest in sustainable food systems in the School of Public Health at the University of Michigan has been enormous. The University of Michigan Sustainable Food Program offers lots of different ways for students to get involved no matter what your interest is. We have 10 different student groups here on campus and the role of UMSFP is really to provide resources to all of those groups and to introduce them to one another. I started UMBs because honeybees are experiencing dramatic population decline today. And we, as humans, rely on, on honeybees for pollination services for a third of our food. This group was created to promote, protect, and propagate honeybees. I've been teaching uh, classes to undergraduates about the food system for 15 years. And when we first started out teaching our class, we had trouble filling it, but now the class is overflowing with students and in fact we have a wait list often of more than 50 people. Expose students to the food system from production to consumption. But I think there's a momentum now where the changes that people are pushing for are actually going to be fundamental changes in the way that we think about how we organize our society around food access and food security and the way we produce our food. So having these cluster hires and having the initiative that the university has put around these four cluster hires is really critical. Our program has, a, has, has quite a strong emphasis on what's going on in the United States, especially in Michigan. Uh, there's also tremendous opportunities to do international work on food systems and agriculture. So it's not just about the United States, it's about the, it's about the world food system. There have been so many students who have knocked on my door and who have come up to me and just very excited about the broader movement that we're seeing in, in the United States and abroad. Uh, around these issues. I came to graduate school to study food and food systems and Michigan has been an incredible place for that. And so it's possible then to engage people from many different departments and disciplines in the study of the sustainable food system. So I'll just end with a couple of comments that um, in addition to those faculty that are featured in the video, there's about 20 others that have identified themselves as part of the Sustainable Food Systems Initiative. And um, constantly courses are morphing around campus. There are courses in the English department, courses in public health, courses in, in um, uh, uh, ecology, courses in urban, urban, urban planning and architecture. And, um, and so it's really pretty exciting time for, for these to be emerging at a place like U of M. Um, in addition, those of us involved with a number of the student groups are trying to walk a delicate balance between not trying to control the sort of energy and direction that students are heading, but try to help keep them sustainable as a, um, a movement within campus. Um, and uh, it's going to be pretty exciting, I think, over the next couple of years to see where it goes. And clearly, one of the things about these efforts at U of M is it has to be connected to the community. And there's great interest for us to partner with the local food movement here in Washtenaw County. So I look forward to talking more later as we have some questions. Thank you.